we will do something about uh, uh, there is a theme june yojana if you look at june yojana of this year they have asked they have given the broad topics on it's okay we'll cover the one or two topics from next time we'll continue this saturday for yojana and schemes so that you can get the books so today as it is the first announcement we'll start with the june yojana only one or two topics i will do and switch to other topics from next time get the yojana book itself so that would be easy for you now one theme of that yojana is talking about digital disruptions the term disruption is generally used it in the negative sense someone comes and disrupts it's it's a generally the connotation is negative but when we give the digital disruption the purpose is vast changes have been got because of digital technologies what is the reason there yeah now when we are saying that the emergence of new technologies are affecting us in such a way that the way we interact with the world the way in which we do the business everything is changing yes or no who else believed that on their mobile phone education can happen yes or no just a handheld device bank transactions can happen okay these are this is kind of the way in which the modulants or the way in which we are working itself is changing yes or no if you take ola ola does not own any company or any manufacturing automation nothing no automobiles it owns of course as a side track it may have but basically it is connecting the demand and supply amazon does it own that is manufacture soaps no it is doing everything it is connecting the user and just suppliers and consumers okay so the way in which the business is done is changed not only that the way in which we are collecting data digital advertisements okay google collects lot of data from you and uses for its own advertising purposes okay threat to privacy many things are coming of course there are positives and negatives so we are looking at some of the digital disruptors which are happening in the present times and in the future also another term you can be used to it as industrial revolution 4.0 so many things are coming up ai machine learning blockchain okay so when i say digital disruption it is not only limited to industrial revolution 4.0 right because digital technologies are used in varieties of things like biotechnology without digital things can vaccine be developed in one year covid vaccine yes or no of course there are many regulatory easing mechanisms but because of computer modeling only they were able to develop a vaccine very easily previously vaccine development used to take on an average 10 to 15 years right so these things these models these simulations has helped us in a much more manner in agri tech also lot of things are lot of changes are happening in financial technologies also in fact we are going through a phase of digital economy yes or no so all these are the ways in which we are so we we'll look briefly very briefly what are the digital disruptions in fact that is being suggested by the yojana book itself so these new technologies can impact the existing product and services also so they change of definitely that's the reason they are called as being disrupting now some of the things which we like to look in this this one example i will give with respect to company called kodak heard about kodak yes or no once upon a point camera means kodak it did market monopoly in fact it monopolized the camera manufacturing market but what happened when the chain technology is changing it didn't update it was still sticking to the same real component if you see our parents photos they will have albums at the max 20 30 or a few hundreds photographs yes or no now in all your phones you have hundreds and thousands of photographs fine but it didn't change it it was sticking to those only real based camera but technology is changing smartphones are coming digital images are coming it didn't change ultimately it became bankrupt also so when new technologies are emerging some may fade off if they are not updated so all these digital technologies there will be a common theme in the background like whether these technologies harm employability in the nation that will be a common theme behind all these technologies suppose when computer was invented people thought that there will be job loss y2k and all these things just 22 20 35 years 30, 30 years back so people thought that if a computer is not there accountant four or five accountants will do the thing if with the help of a computer only one man can do so there will be job loss 
telegram is gone yes or no oh, we have a digital telegram now the original telegram is gone how many people are, are writing letters from family letters one or two from family letters to love letters everything happens to whatsapp messages yes or no social media has come so things are changing right so if we are using all these digital technologies will it create job loss that is a common theme they ask in especially in the mains analysis part how far artificial intelligence is a threat to india's employability because already there is a criticism we are going we had gone through which phase jobless growth avuna kada what do you meaning of the term jobless growth i think i have to remove this fine it's okay hmm? what do you mean by jobless growth growth is there gdp is growing but comparable number of jobs are not being created in the economy so that is a big criticism on indian economic growth model why because we went through the phases of agri generally any country grows through the phases of agriculture development then industrial development manufacturing then service sector we took a jump agriculture is there still in stagnation we didn't focus much on manufacturing we again directly focused on service sector right that didn't service sector can't give jobs to all the people it may give few skilled jobs hyderabad's population is more than 1 crore software hub only 5 lakhs people are employed in in hyderabad's software industry this is not my statistics given by hyderabad software association how many jobs are there directly in software only 5 lakhs then what about the 95 lakhs people there are many other things pharmacy film industry many things are there medium msme sector so labor intensity may not be the case given by service sector so we have to develop manufacturing sector okay already india is under that pressure where is the lion make in india lion is sleeping somewhere wake it up then it got changed to atmanirbhar bharat okay but where is the growth in the manufacturing sector that's a big criticism now you are again going to get all these technologies will it create issues huh? that will be a common recurring theme hmm? apart from the actual technologies so the book highlights these things ai machine learning some things we'll do very briefly it has just told what are the things which are emerging now artificial intelligence and machine learning so what is difference between a computer code and artificial intelligence code suppose you are friend or you are a group of four people you are designing a website online live contract bidding website for government of goa many tenders will be there that they want to do through online mechanism so that transparency will be there this project four to five software engineers will work for two to three months and they created the project gone project is successful online tendering for government of goa is done then after that maharashtra government will come to you it will also ask the same online tender website again four or five people same people will have to work for 3 to 4 months same method names will change type of tenders will change that's it na but four or five people has to be engaged now if artificial intelligence comes what it will do it will learn on its own okay so there is no need once you create the program it will learn the data it will create the program automatically for itself that's the reason we are calling artificial intelligence our brain is made up of which networks neural networks neurons and neural networks so ai in a crude way is made up of artificial neural networks just like a child learns the language right so this codes are designed to learn from data okay so if computer is there or this camera is there i program the camera wherever i go wherever i go the camera should rotate along with me is it ai no this is not ai understand the difference i am moving camera is also moving along with me no this is not ai i can create a code program i can create sensors will be there ir sensors will be there it will sense the motion wherever i am going automatically the motor will rotate okay this is simple program but what if i use different different languages in between automatically the camera should 
convert it and translate it into English language. This is AI. Okay, because different speakers will use different tones, different dialects. It has to automatically capture and convert it into English subtitles, automatic. Language, automatic language processing should be done by it. Okay, and if there are 10 people who are staying on the line, it will only capture only me. This is AI. However rough I am, hair is like this, uh, without proper uh, makeup or anything. It has to identify me and only focus, detect, deduct other things. This is AI. So what is the purpose here? There is an intelligence on its own. Okay, so that's the reason artificial intelligence is linked to robotics. Yes or no? A robot has to, chitti will come, okay, it will, it will process on its own. Fine. So all these things are there through AI it is linked through cloud computing in many ways it can be linked. Okay. So that's the reason the machine itself will learn. Okay. So that where now the NCRT talks, sorry, the book talks about Yojana in the next articles, how AI can be used. It has given two, three articles. Okay. So write a question, write a question. Niti Aayog report is also there with respect to artificial intelligence. Discuss, discuss the significant, discuss the significant applications of artificial intelligence. Discuss the significant applications of artificial intelligence, which can be developed, which can be developed considering the socio-economic conditions of India. Considering the socio-economic conditions of India. Why I stressed the word socio-economic conditions of India? Because it should not deprive the labor of its jobs. Okay, it should enhance the existing things, but it, can, it should not take away the jobs. Well, that is the background. Okay, try to make a structure. How it can be used, Bolke? Try to think. Anyway, I will tell some of the parameters. Try to write on this. Otherwise, you will feel bored. See, some of the aspects highlighted here is artificial intelligence, especially in Indian context, is very useful in affordable health care. There is a huge need for AI in health care activities. How? Super speciality healthcare is always costly. Yes or no? The experts, they are very few. But diseases many people are getting. India has a double burden of both communicable diseases and non-communicable diseases. Suppose there is a cancer. Image you have done. Generally, cancers are not diagnosed at an early stage. Yes or no? Because the, the person will not go to the consultation. By the time symptoms occur, lot of harm has been already done. Yes or no? But if you employ AI, images can be, scans can be, all the reports can be collected and lot of data can be collated because of which prediction of the health can be done well in advance. So that is a one of way of cheaper AI. There is no special doctor required now. Yes or no? You can train the AI, healthcare bot, it will analyze, lot of diagnostics can be predicted. Many diseases can be done in a much more earlier stages. Then will the cost of medication will decrease or increase? Decrease. Okay, early detection. That is just one area of application. Okay, many people have common symptoms. Suppose COVID, few set of symptoms will be there. AI doctor may come in the, in the future. Yes or no? Because for the same kind of things, every time expert may not be required. Right? And there are many complicated surgeries like artificially intelligence assisted robotic arms. Yes, because our valves and all these things are so sophisticated, very few surgeons will be there who can cut and stitch such expertise without damaging the other parts. An open heart surgery may be successful, but once you are opening the system, once you are disturbing the system, the side effects will kill many people. Yes or no? That is the complications developed. 
even in cancer care also using radiation things why the cancer is recurring again and again chemotherapy or radio using all these things uh, we are hitting the cancer cells they are dying but the energy is so high we are destructing the surrounding cells also so after some time surrounding cells also get cancer and the cancer will recur in the patients so ai based diagnostic and tools will directly hit at the point they will analyze they will collate lot of data lot of image processing can be done and precision healthcare provision can be given yes or no the main purpose of ai we can see is customization depending on the individual same dolo tablet may not work for all yes or no so all the parameters the drug parameter and my health parameter match which drug is suitable okay customization personalization can be done precision so much of precision can't be drawn can't be given hmm, by human because human beings have limitations now this kind of applications will enhance and solve the existing problems and together they are not removing the doctors they are helping the doctors to become more efficient that is a common theme in all ai applications highlighted in the books fine in the education sector also with respect to education sector also ai can be deployed if i am delivering a lecture or someone teacher is delivering the lecture it's not that everybody will be understanding the complete things some may be bored some may not have interest some may not have basics some may be busy in mobile phones whatever may be the reason some concentration levels will be less yes or no so all these things once you employ education apart from the teacher support mechanisms can be developed if i delivering a lecture on suppose differential equations max physics out of bounds yes or no some student all the students may not understand everything the teacher can't sit with every student yes or no there is a limitation if sits also there are limitations now ai will assist conduct student specific tests understand the weakness enhance okay so that is one area which is being highlighted education enhancing quality of education and not only that agriculture third area where area, where agri uh, artificial intelligence is very useful is in the context of agriculture how even after green revolution our agriculture productivity let us let us take in rice if indian rice fields are producing 3000 kg per hectare southeast asia is producing 6000 kg per hectare on an average so still we have to achieve a lot with respect to what agriculture productivity on farm productivity water use efficiency has to be increased delivering of pesticides insecticides per plant because each plant like uh, like all of you are individual each mango tree is different yes or no then if you put the same amount of fertilizers insecticides everywhere will you get efficiency no customization can be each field will have attack from pest at a different level you can't have single solution for all okay so agriculture is an area where there is a lot of scope for healthcare for education for agriculture smart cities smart mobility traffic management image processing based traffic management okay so another area being suggested is smart cities then smart mobility integration of various transporting models okay so this is the strategy which is being developed various applications can be developed like in telangana they have developed how to authenticate the person who is receiving old age pension how do you know that he is he or she is still alive there can be possibility of fraud yes or no aadhar is there uniqueness is there no doubt but what is the guarantee that the person is still alive and the pension is being withdrawn by someone else after the death also so that liveness is being done in telangana in fact they developed that model okay when a person is signing or when facial recognition live face recognition also they can be trained yes or no because aadhar is being used using these digital technologies in multiple ways now just by telling aadhar number uniqueness is assured no doubt but face is also unique yes or no some people say that seven people will be there but uh, till now we have not faced that situation yes or no so 
uniqueness of the face that is also one character so when authentication is being done the software will recognize the liveness of the person iris scans are also another thing which are being integrated into aadhar okay iris scans you know that is they are also unique fingerprints have limitations because manual workers will lose their fingerprints so all the mgnrega workers and many people who are doing lot of physical work they have a limitation of proper recognition of fingerprints will not be done now iris scan is being integrated like that many things can be done once because of this technologies okay so that is one area with ai now in ai in education also many articles are being coming but the yojana focuses on few areas which i told before robotic teachers to tell the repetitive tax it's not that a complete teacher is should be replaced in order to assist the teacher that is one area another area is personalized education tutoring uh, to know the difficulty of the things various documents and reports see one of the important limitations of the existing education system is mean people can copy paste all the assignments yes or no the teacher has asked you to write an essay in your university or school you have copy pasted from many websites yes or no no information access is not a limitation in the present times then how do you see that whether it is written by you or you copied from multiple sources even teacher also can't check for every essay na for that ai based tools can be used whether it is a natural language or whether it is taken from multiple websites ai can do that lot of processing so to check piracy to check plagiarism huge scope is there with respect to ai especially in education sector and copyright fields okay natural language processing i gave the camera example na that is an example of natural language processing educators throughout the world see what is the guarantee in this globalized world every person has to learn new new skills always so teachers are few skilled persons are few somewhere in germany there is a expert on big data how do you learn from him he will talk in german immediately it has to be automatically converted into as if the man is speaking english or telugu such kind of applications can be developed using ai hmm? only on ai they have given many things administrative task smart content creation scheduling class scheduling all these things can be done using things okay that's the two articles which the yojana tries to focus now some of the digital disruptions which i would like you to see here is coming back to our original thing artificial intelligence and machine learning next dimension is cloud computing fine leave it something are being struck always here yeah cloud computing is another dimension what is cloud computing what is the difference between the way in which previously things used to done and the present system of cloud computing what is cloud clouds are coming in monsoons huh? what is cloud computing data is not only it's about data storage data is only one dimension suppose let us take the example of your gmail can you access your gmail in to go to any internet shop and access gmail yes or no is the gmail information all your mails in your gmail stored in that computer no they are stored somewhere else somewhere external server that may be in some other country also so servers are there before gmail is there from last 20 years then what is the recent term of cloud computing here not only data storage not only internet based data storage even software updates even maintenance even firewall protection everything is done by the cloud services amazon is the biggest supplier of cloud based services to the company if you want to start a online company suppose e-commerce app you can't have enough resources you are a small man selling some puppets now do you have the potential to create app to store them to firewall protect it secure the data secure the digital transactions no na everything can be done by this cloud services automatically software update also they will pay user base like zoom you take zoom recording zoom 
online recording classes will be recorded they will not be stored on the local computer in which zoom session is happening directly it will be stored in the zoom company cloud cloud services okay so this is one big thing this is very important in the context of huge amount of data being generated everybody has internet yes or no lot of data is being generated data is the new oil yes or no biggest companies are data based companies facebook this does not own anything google no infrastructure much so data is many thing driving so cloud computing will be a biggest asset for startups in the future also in fact it is happening now itself then quantum computing this quantum computing the the way in which these computers or our phones all these things are working on a principle of binary logic zero and one they can't understand your chunnu munnu nothing they will understand what they will understand zero and one on off for everything we deploy a code right now if on and off only two states are there in the normal computing system in quantum computer what they have tried to do is rather than zero and one multiple states they created in between so with the two states zero and one i am able to so much of data can be stored so much of processing can be done imagine what if point one stage point two stage point three stage is there the processing power of the computer will enhanced ordinary computers work in bits b i t s quantum computer work in qubits okay so the terms they use is quantum supremacy with respect to quantum computing there is a term which is being used is called as quantum supremacy the ordinary supercomputer which will take hundreds of years to process quantum computer are able to do in few seconds that the phenomena is called as what quantum supremacy okay so the applications of quantum computers in computational chemistry drug design and development vaccines can be developed very fast cyber crypto and cryptography what is cryptography data security if you open your whatsapp and you select any contact not a group select any contact you will see that there will be encoding decoding code there whatever you are talking in the whatsapp that information is not stored in whatsapp servers also okay it will be stored in a raw data only you and the receiver will know what is the exact words used okay so this in the context of safeguarding privacy data security is becoming very high so quantum computer will have a huge benefit with respect to cryptography right financial modeling you might have heard about algorithm trading and all those things that is only one dimension so in ways why there is repeated amount of stock market collapse why economy is crashing multiple times you have crashing of economy right so all these things can be predicted well in advance weather forecasting monday tuesday wednesday indian meteorological department gave that monday you will have a severe rain did it rain on this monday no because it's not about criticism against imd our indian weather is so complex even today there is no full proof explanation for why southwest monsoon is happening there are certain models jet stream model is there koteshwar of I mean there are only able to do it only in a limited manner okay why monsoon break is coming there is no clear explanation how rainfall in kenya is affecting indian monsoon there is no clear explanation okay so things are highly complex so quantum computers will enhance our processing and modeling capacities also okay localized weather based farm based weather reports can be given okay suppose a farmer wants to grow saplings the problem is if he attaches the saplings and uh, make the farm and he starts the process for next 20 days rain should not come or heavy rain should not come if heavy rain comes 5 6 months of his growth his care for the saplings is gone so his local district weather or his mandal weather report is very important for him do you have such models now they are there but their efficiency is limited quantum computing can address these challenges okay so these are the various applications which they have suggested another dimension is smart manufacturing okay so i am digital disruptions i am not limiting to only industrial revolution 4.0 so there are many ways hmm? 
industrial 4.0 cyber physical system internet of things internet of things means connecting everything possible connecting this camera fan mobile phone ac which you want now okay so all these things can be connected washing machine cars okay more processing power more controlling you want to control hmm? human being always wants to control and also always wants to escape also so that is a uh, dilemma happening big data systems of integration smart manufacturing basically one part can be told about lot of wastage is there with respect to present manufacturing process so we are talking about additive manufacturing heard about it additive manufacturing which is nothing but 3d printing okay if this dusk has to be made or this stand has to be made how they will take a block or a statue has to be made they will take a block and remove unwanted things and statue will come up how the buddha statue was made big monolithic stone carved out the wastage and buddha statue was made so there is lot of wastage here whereas in 3d printing or additive manufacturing what is the term used additive manufacturing layer by layer buddha will be built not only buddha any complex shape ear human ear we will model it 3d model we will create and resins will be there stone will not be used of course resins will be used and we give it to the software the 3d printer will move in all the three dimensions slowly it will build the model that model is used to build the actual uh, tool which we want to design so all these things are developing smart manufacturing hmm, augmented what is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality this is a previous this year question i believe prelims what is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality as the name says augmenting means to enhance our experience heard about online games digital games screen will be there you will do this as if you will be moving on the screens enhancing the perception of your existing world is augmented reality okay 3d movies or 4d movies you will be sitting in theater you will be going it chair also will be moving something like that okay whereas virtual reality is completely cut off from this world you will wear some devices you will feel as if you are in labasna virtual reality okay fine so these things are there which are being developed okay smart mobility in fact now cars electric vehicle charging hmm, breakdown predicting the breakdown well before car sharing app all these things are there traffic management see i was coming now uh, i think some minister is going they stop the traffic for 15 minutes i have to know that before so that i can take diversion okay signal will be there irrespective of the strength of the traffic same 1 2 minutes red light imagine what if image processing is there depending on the density of the traffic they will change the timer of the signals this is smart mobility okay so all these things can be done various components are there on smart mobility intelligent parking we don't know uh, go to our markets first problem is where we have to park biggest problem ha huh? so like that ticketing systems real time predictive maintenance this is very interesting development predictive maintenance means have you seen our rtc buses they will collapse exactly on the middle of the road do 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 doom exactly in the middle of the road they will stop because the driver does not know what is going to happening in the bus whereas if you have predictive maintenance it will harm it will give indication to the driver motor is the engine is overheating fuel intake is low this particular sensor is overreacting take corrective measures so that breakdown will not happen this is predictive maintenance the same thing will apply in manufacturing sector also big big oil processing company chemical industry it will be half the size of ashoknagar yes or no cement industry see ambani factory will be almost more than ashoknagar fine so how much of predictive maintenance very important so all these are the digital disruptions we are going to develop next important thing is blockchain what is blockchain what is the difference between internet and blockchain oh my god already done today ha huh? ha huh? what is the difference see internet connects all the computers yes or no whereas blockchain this connection is authenticated by everyone who are connected simply put suppose there is a system 
on the first floor all your students data is there in the system they stored it as a word file using internet can i change the content of that word file on that system no not possible na hacking is also different they just stored it okay common server is not there but what if they made the changes will it be accessible to you me no i can't things are not connected internet is just a tip of a iceberg lot of data is there which is not shared yes or no right whereas blockchain in internet everything is open in blockchain group of nodes will be connected whatever changes you are making on the node every other person will know that is the basic uh, background behind creating blockchain technology so digital currencies bitcoins land they have many voting mechanisms what is the why we are not allowing internet based voting in hyderabad there was a proposal last municipal elections the voting percentage is less than 50% so the government proposed online voting you these people are becoming so lazy so at least let them vote uh, sitting in home only but what is the problem can it be safe and secure no manipulation can be happening hacking can happen but whereas with blockchain this authenticity can be maintained okay land records biggest problem you purchased a land 20 years back now its worth is in crores someone comes with the same land document he also purchased he is also owner what you have to do both have to fight there is no authentication here whereas if you have blockchain land record maintenance every transaction on that land record is maintained history will be maintained okay which is not happening so all these are the various applications which we can look into so this is the interesting thing which we can observe see world's largest taxi company does not own any taxis car is there users are there drivers are there okay it is a biggest resource this thing airbnb this one hotel accommodation it does not hold any hotel infrastructure then you have world's largest phone companies they are working through internet not through wired wired communications they also does not have any telecom infrastructure look at the way things are e-commerce alibaba amazon they does not manufacture anything okay they are the largest fine another example facebook facebook is also news supplier also yes or no it shares but does it have journalists does it employ journalists no okay a biggest news agency in the world does not have news corporations fine world's largest growing bank peer to peer lending okay what is peer to peer lending if you want money you go to someone and or not someone bank you go and get the money but what is happening here in peer to peer lending bank may not give it may demand collateral already you have another loan in peer to peer lending they are connecting i have for next 3 months i have 1 lakh rupee with me i want to give it for interest to someone someone requires that 1 lakh rupee both will be connected sir what is the safety in digital domain no aadhar is there uniqueness is there that is the security which can be taken care of this mediator okay so like that things are going netflix no no movie theater it wants but it's the largest movie ott platform consumption then apple google software vendors do we create anything just by play store they are providing a medium so these are the examples of digital disruptions they practically change the way in which every sector traditional way of functioning of every sector is changed yes or no like that okay only one topic we were able to do but uh, we'll try to complete this yojana in fact we did two three articles ai in health ai in education and digital disruption disruption june magazine three articles are covered and there is about online gaming industry also which we will cover in the next class okay take care tomorrow no class i think yeah tomorrow no class from monday polity will be started bolo ah <laughs> current affairs monday so these sessions will be continuous 5 to 6 polity science and tech on tuesday wednesday environment for thursday economy friday ir 6 uh, saturday yojana and miscellaneous theek okay? hai